Hello, croppers. It's been a while since I made a video. And there's a few things that I've been working on. So I said, let me just do a short video. Um, I hope everybody's cropping or scrapping or doing whatever you do craft-wise and having a good time. This is um, a cat catalog from my dies, my Spellbinders dies that I saw on YouTube. But I can't think of the name of the girl that um, actually created it. But it was really an easy project. A little time-consuming, but easy. And it's I've had so many different ways of storing my Spellbinders dies. And then I forget to use them or I buy them again and not realizing it. So this is a good way because it's like a, a kind of a catalog. And as you can see, I wrote dies on it. I used a cricket for that. But what it is, is 12 by 12 sheets of paper. The book, the actual book itself is 6 by 12. And I took 12 by 12 sheets of paper and um, cut them in half. And then I used my um, okay. I used my cinch die machine to actually do the, the binding. It's the cinch machine. Like I said, it's 12 by 12, so each 12 by 12 sheet creates two pages. And it's just a good, easy way to um, to store your dies. What I and I did, I took the cutouts of some of the ones that I had left. So I can see how it looks when it's cut out. But um, you can put as many pages as, as you want in the book. And like I said, it was somebody on YouTube that did it. I'm sure everybody's doing it now, but it's really a good way to. And I just, you know, glued the pages down that I liked. And um, used magnetic strips that I bought from Michaels, which was simple. Magnetic strips are inexpensive. It's a whole roll for I think like five or six dollars. So like I said, it's a good way of storing. And you can put as many sheets in it as you want. And it really holds well, to tell you the truth. It holds really good. See? You can see that they're not really moving. This particular one, this is a um, cher Cherry Lynn. And this is metal. Here, this is metal, but it came with this shim, the plastic, and I just used it as a pocket and put it in there. But like I said, it holds pretty good. You put, you know, you cut the strips, you know, the way you want them, how long you want them. Or you can use this is a half an inch, I think, strips, magnetic strips, and then they had the they had the, the one inch strips, which is thicker. And these are the um, Grand Caliber. And I only put a few of these in here because they all wouldn't fit my machine. But as you can see, I have a few pages left. So I have um, room to grow. And I use the chip. I just use chipboard. It's in chipboard. And um, DCWV paper I used. That I had that I had for a while and I hadn't been using. But it's a really nice, easy way to store. And I use these are Tim Holtz closures I use. Really easy way to store. And you can put it right up on the shelf. Which makes it simple to store. So, even though I haven't made a video lately, I have been working on some things. I've been really busy and haven't been doing too much uh, scrapbooking, uh, cropping. Like I said, it's been quite a few months. This is a, a little... Um, mini album that I created. It says all about girls. And I just used some of the papers I had. I created it for my niece. Just acetate. So put a picture inside there and on the tag. And I tried to stick to a few colors because I really go wow with colors usually. I tried to stick to a a few colors and I, I did alright this time usually I go crazy with different colors this is, a, this is a little tag it's all about girls that says fashion this is a Tim Holtz 
um, dress form. And I used the Cricut. Um, I think I used, ooh, I can't think of the cartridge I used, but I used a few different cartridges. To tell you the truth, really some of these dyes I already had cut out. I liked them and I cut them out and just kept them. And just decided to put them in. You can see I tried to stick to a few colors, but I got greens, purples, pinks, ah, blues. Like I said, I usually go crazy. Just a tag. This is in his lace. It's a two side tag. So that's what I've been working on. And I bought a new toy, and I'm going to do a video on that. I'll show you the new toy. Oh, and this is another book that I'm just starting to do. And this is a little oops, three binder loose leaf book and it's it was I had this from a oh what is it called? I can't even think of the name of the company I used to get the boxes, the um pizza boxes from. Ooh, my mind is really going, my memory is terrible. But um it was a a monthly kit and it came in pizza boxes and the papers were beautiful. And it came with all kind of books, and I cannot think of the name. Club Scrap. That's what it was. Club Scrap. This is one of Club Scrap's binders. And I just decided that I'm going to use it as a mini album. And I just I started it. And like I said, Club Scrap. Yeah, they have beautiful papers. Club Scrap. These are the inserts from the Club Scrap. You get all kind of inserts. So I'm, I left that there because I'm going to use that. In the book. But what I did was I just made some papers. These are club scrap papers. And I'm going to really fill it with this size. It's a nice size. Um, let me see what size this book is. It's probably, the papers are probably, let's see, it's 7 by 8 by 7. 8, eight and a half by 7 fit in this book. And the binder, I mean, I wasn't using it for anything, so I just covered it. I covered it with the Spellbinders papers. And I'm going to make a little mini album for someone out of that. So that's what I've been working on. I hope everybody's having a good time. But I do want to make another video of a new toy that I bought, which I said I'm not buying anything else. But that was something that I wanted for a while, and I got it on eBay, and it was a good price. So I'll, I'll make a video on that and show you how that works. So hope everybody's enjoying themselves and, and continue to, to um, do your crafts because it is definitely um, therapy. <laughs> For me anyway. Definitely therapy. Okay. Big Scrappy here and everybody enjoy their, their day. Bye-bye.